Why play Miss Fortune bot lane? Well, her poke is amazing. She is a beast in a team fight. She's a solid lane bully, and she's decently mobile with move speed. However, she is very mana intensive, especially early game, and she is very squishy, especially if locked down. Miss Fortune's passive is whenever she basic attacks a new target, she love taps them, dealing additional damage. So as long as she doesn't attack the same target twice in a row, she keeps applying this passive over and over again. Miss Fortune's Q is a point to click ability which fires a shot at an enemy target, dealing damage. After this hits a target, it can then bounce in a cone behind it, which will also deal damage. However, if the first shot kills the target, the second shot will always critically strike. In addition, this ability applies on hit effects, including Love Tap. Miss Fortune's W has a passive where she gains bonus movement speed after 5 seconds of not taking damage, and after an additional 5 seconds again she's granted even more movement speed, and the active causes her to gain a large amount of attack speed. In addition, every time she applies the Love Tap passive, it reduces the cooldown of this ability by 2 seconds. Miss Fortune's E creates a circle on the floor which grants sight of the area, deals damage to all enemies within, and applies a slow. Miss Fortune's ultimate can be one of the best ultimates in the game. It is a long-range cone skill shot where she channels the ability for 3 seconds, firing a number of bullets in that direction, where this deals massive damage to all targets hit, and it can critically strike. For combos, a good basic one is to attack into your Q, following up with your E into your ultimate. However, you'll often find you need to start with E and W to engage, following up with an attack into your Q and ultimate. And often in late game team fights, it's not safe enough to go up to use your auto attack and Q, so using your E into your ultimate is still tons of damage. For matchups, Misfortune does well into immobile AD carries who she can easily bully or lane and struggle to get out of her ultimate, and she can struggle against hard lane bullies who simply want to go in and keep fighting all the time. For runes, take this. First Strike works very well with her easy poke and ultimate. For build order, start Blade and Pot into Ghost Blade and Tier 2 Boots. After this, a Collector and Serolda's Grudge are great pickups before finishing a build with any of these as needed. For skill order, start Q then W then E before maxing Q then W then E taking ult whenever you can. For summoner spells, take Flash and Heal. Starting the game, your main focus is going to be on farming hard, poking, and taking good trades. Misfortune's poke is incredibly strong with her love tap passive, and with her increased movement speed from her W, she's able to easily move forward, get a love tap in, and move back to safety. In addition, her E is possibly one of the easiest and most annoying abilities in the game, as she can simply throw it out, guarantee damage, and guarantee a pretty decent slow. However, the main bread and butter of Miss Fortune's poke are her Qs. If you're able to put a minion to low health, kill it with Q, and bounce the bullet onto that enemy champion. Between the love tap passive and the guaranteed crit, the damage is absolutely devastating, especially when you hit levels 4 and 5 and have a few points in the ability. And of course, when you hit your level 6, if your support or jungler can provide any CC to full combo them with, your ultimate will simply remove them from the map. Entering the mid game, you want to take your tower as soon as possible and rotate mid. This will put you and your support in the centre of the map for easy sieging and will allow two strong champions to quickly roam to fights and objectives. Entering late game team fights, you want to play as the backline hyper carry where you simply sit far back away in safety. Wait for the fight to start and enemies are grouped and then simply throw out your E into your ultimate to deal a silly amount of damage across their entire team. After this, use your W movement speed to kite away from any danger while putting out a ton of damage with your auto attacks. Otherwise, if you don't have ultimate available, you want to E the target you're going for or any target going for you, and then use your W for the massive attack speed buff while spamming away with attacks and Qs.